Hi there, it's Chris from the Business of Traders, and I'm here to tell you about when the stock markets open and when they close, because I do not want you to get caught out. Now, this weekend, the clocks change. That's the 28th of March, 2021. And obviously, I want you to make sure that you know when the stock markets open and when they shut. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So the stock market opening times, are you aware of when they close and when they shut? When you can pre-trade and when you can post-trade? Now, as I've already said, don't forget about DST and how it can affect your trading hours. And at the end of this presentation, we have a, uh, a table showing you how that does affect you. So let's run through the stock markets. So the, one, the first one we're looking at is the New York Stock Exchange. That's the NICE. That's located in, the, in New York, New York City. And it's one of the biggest stock exchanges in the world. The normal trading hours for that are 9.30 till 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, on public holidays, that does potentially vary. And they do tend to, cheer, do tend to close early. Now, there is an option to pre-trade between 7.00. Uh, 6.30 a.m. till 9.30 a.m. and post-trade between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. Now, please note that during the pre-trade and the post-trade sessions, the trading rules may differ. Now, they do not close for lunch. Now, the NASDAQ, which is the big competitor to the NICE, and that's where most of the technology stocks are listed, is located in New York City as well. That's open between 9.30 till 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And again, on public holidays, it does vary. And what we do recommend is that you do look at their actual website so that you can find that out. Now, we have included the links from our website. So all you need to do is jump on our website, which is businessoftraders.academy, and you can check the opening times from there. And then drill down onto the relevant sites. Now, please note again with this one, Pre-trade and post-trade sessions, trading rules may differ. They don't close for lunch. Moving on swiftly, the Japanese, the Japan Exchange Group, that's known as the JPX, located in the city of Tokyo in Japan, is open between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now, that's local time, and they do shut for lunch between 11.30 to 12.30 p.m. So when you're looking at your charts thinking, it's like watching paint dry, it's the, the candles aren't moving. That's because they're at lunch. Now, the Shanghai Stock Exchange, that's the SSE, is located in the city of Shanghai in China, and their normal hours are between 9.30 till 3 p.m. local time. Now, they do have a lunch. In fact, these guys have a long lunch. They have a lunch between 11.30 till 1 p.m. So there's time to pop out and get those all-important noodles. Now, the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, known as the HKEX, is open between 9.30 a.m. to 4.10 p.m. local time. Again, these guys do close for lunch as well, but only for an hour. Now, the Euronext, also known as the European New Exchange Technology, is the largest stock exchange in Europe, and it's based in Amsterdam. And they open between 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. local time. No option to pre-trade, but you can post-trade, and they do not close for lunch. The Shenzhen Stock Exchange, known as the SZSE, is open between 9.30am till 3pm, and that is uh, that also does have a lunch time period, and that's again between 11.30 till 1pm. These, these guys get a nice long lunch. Now, the Toronto Stock Exchange is open between 9.30 till 4pm Eastern Time, However, our public holidays will vary. They do not shut for lunch. Now, the Bombay Stock Exchange, also known as the BSC, that's located in Mumbai. It's one of Asia's oldest stock exchanges, and it's known as the BSC. And the normal trading hours of that are between 9.15 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. local time. They don't shut for Now... Also noting, the commodity exchanges, the three biggest ones in the world as the Chicago Mercantile, Tokyo Commodity and the LME, which is the London Metal. Let's have a look. 
Now, on this one, uh, there's a lot of different times depending on what you're actually trading. So again, we've included a link to, to look. But I just want to give you a little bit of background. The Chicago uh, Mercantile Exchange, also known as the CME, is the largest global derivatives marketplace in the world. It was founded in 1898, originally as the Chicago Butter and Egg Board. The CME merged with the Chicago Board of Trade in 2007. And then the following year, it merged with, uh, in 2008 uh, with uh, the New York Mercantile Exchange, which is NYMEX and the COMEX. And you've got CME and the CBOT and the NYMEX and the COMEX all combined into one under the CME group. And within two years of the merger, the uh, CME uh, market capital capitalization bloomed to over $25 billion. And to date, the CME is the biggest futures and options contract to open interest. It's changing the world. Now, this is a summary, but I do recommend on this one that you drill down onto the CME group uh, website depending on what you are trading. So they're all based in US Central Time, which is CT. Now the to Tokyo Commodity Exchange, also known as TOKAM, located in Tokyo, is Japan's biggest and one of Asia's most distinguished commodity futures exchange. In 1984, TOKAM was formed following the merger of Tokyo Textile Exchange which was formed in 1951 with the rubber exchange and the gold exchange. Now their hours uh, have, uh, they have a number of sessions. They have the first session, which is 8.45 a.m. till 3.15 p, 3 p.m., followed by the second session, which is 4.30 till 5.30, but it is extended for electricity, which is 4.30 till 7 p.m. Now the London Metal Exchange, also known as the LME, is located in London. It's one of the oldest exchanges in the world. It was formed back in 1877, but the market does originate, originate back to 1571. The LME is now part of the Hakex Group, which joins the physical industry and the financial community to form the managed market that it does today between buyers and sellers. Trading hours of the LME are quite long, between 1 a.m. till 7 p.m. and they do actually have a 24 office hour trading telephone. One of the only ones or one of the only exchanges that does. So how can daylight saving affect your trading? Also known as DST, also referred to as summertime. Let's delve in. So here we have the table and how it can potentially affect you. So, on the 28th of March, we, we change, but already, as we speak, on the 14th of March, America is in summertime. So that means, if you're based in the UK, as an example, at the moment, the markets for us in America open at 1.30, but obviously, um, as of the 28th, that will then go back to 2.30. So, it's just very important to note that. My name's Chris Hitchin. I'm from the Business of Traders. Hope you've enjoyed the presentation. If you have, please smash the like button below. That really helps me. Subscribe to my channel as well. Gets my ratings up. Give us some comments. Tell us if you like it. Tell us if it's not been for you. Tell us how I can improve. So all that's been left to say is trade safe, stay safe. Have a great day. Bye for now.